Hello, it's Bini here. It's uh, 13 June 11 12. I just finished my recording for my IBF students on the futures market. So today we're going to take a look into uh, STI again. All right, uh, it's uh, is the dodgy today, the weekly chart in terms of the dodgy, is it surprising? No, it is not. It's all within our expectation. Now today I'd like to, you know, share with you uh, what do I mean by relative height? That means that whether price is expensive, expensive or uh, cheap or whether uh, price is at the high or low, it all depends on this uh, relative uh, movement. Okay, if you take a look at what happened to STI, uh, you know, for the last, uh, I, I would say, four months or uh, five months, it has been in the range, right? In a range of where the high point is around 3,450. So this is the high point here, all right? Uh, let me just get a pen to mark it. So this is the high point, right? And the low point, it's around this one here. So about 3,130. Okay, so um, to ask you, where is STI right now? Okay, so this is STI. All right. Is it near to the low or is it near to the high? So I think you know your answer would be very conclusive. It is near to the low. All right. Uh, does it mean that uh, you know price won't break lower? No, it doesn't. However, in terms of probability, right, there is a, a bit of a chance to see a support here. Okay, at the moment. Okay, so this is the reason why after we have. Uh, shorted into STI all right well, via the futures contract uh, then uh, price hit around this place here and it had entered our support zone okay so in terms of probability to go short that means to be bearish on STI right now uh, isn't what you want to do okay in fact that if you had shorted that means you had, had show uh, show uh, so at the top here all right or when when it broke this uh support level right uh, the place here would be a place for you to take profit okay so this is what sti is doing right now uh it had reacted to the last friday uh us uh, movement last friday um the us cpi was at the 41 year high the inflation was at the 41 year high at 8.6 percent Therefore, the US market reacted badly. Uh, STI had a gap. Okay, so today it uh, moved down by about uh, uh, 20 points. All right, it had a gap, all right, but uh, it sort of like uh, recovered because it's right now uh, near to the support zone. I'm saying that this is the support zone about 3,130 uh, to 3,150. Okay, so it's not surprising to see a dodgy here so going forward you know what are we expecting it's very difficult to say that this dodgy is going to result in a um, bullish movement we have to look for what happens subsequently all right but what i did here is i've drawn in this uh, very important line so these lines are guiding lines okay and then i i use this concept which is called wash and rinse that means that price must level wash and rinse a certain level that it has broken so uh, by closing below all right the uh today like this all right by gapping down and uh, therefore price had closed below this uh, very important low that was made during the 12th may okay so that's about 3165 all right so price must never close above this 3165 all right and it must never uh i mean uh, if it should be bullish all right then you will see that price uh, will trade above 3180 okay so that means that uh, to know that it's it's staying that bearish mode all right it must be below 3180 so it mustn't close above 3180 otherwise if it's above it then we will know that sti has found some support and it's it's probably going to move up from here and still be moving in a range bound situation that means that low of 3150 60 level all right to high of 3250 we're going to start that uh, 100 points uh, movement again all right so going to the one stock that i want to talk about today is uh, this stock that's listed in the hong kong exchange uh, it's uh, 1211.hk that's byd so byd is a multiverse company um, that is involved in uh, electronic vehicles all right that's in uh, some uh, handphone telecommunication parts 
um, but one of the things that uh, BYD has is the battery as well okay the um, battery for the electronic vehicles right um, I highlighted this stocks in one of the SGX Academy sessions that I did on the 4th of May all right so um, this again I want to emphasize on you know range right because it's very very important to know where you are trading where you are at right uh, especially when you look at uh, the stock price okay so that's why I find charts are very important right so um, I also find that uh, many students have taught when when they are new all right they didn't know how to gauge whether it is high or it is low okay and many times a lot of retailers will enter when the price is actually at a high side Okay, so for example, on the, on the on the second of May, all right, when I was doing this uh, presentation, I mean, I did the presentation on the fourth of May. I did the charting on the second of May, two days before the actual presentation. All right, uh, what I saw was that BYD had fallen from this high here, all right, to this low here. So this high was about three hundred and twenty, all right, and the um, low was about one hundred and sixty. All right, so um, the place that I was looking at BYD was about um, this price here at 213, 230, 30. Okay, so that's the price level I was looking at. Now, um, then the question to you is that when we have the price here at 230, for example, is price at a high or low? Okay, so if you compare to this range here, then the price at 230, it's not high because it is not near to the top of the range near not near to 320 all right but another way that we can take a look at is we can compare between this place here which is this low here to this um, you know immediate high okay so at least that you know if we consider this we are not buying near to the high at a, at a price of 217 or even 230 we are buying you know a little bit of a retracement here okay so we are buying generally at the bottom of the range all right and then we wait for the top of the range to sell out okay so that's really a very very simple strategy a very way very simple way to take a look at prices but a lot of uh, you know traders a lot of uh, investors actually missed out okay so they try to go on very complicated analysis and fail to see that just a very simple evaluation of a higher high and low range and just to ask where the price is at based on that range right can be a very very simple effective strategy right uh, one of the things i raise out is this possible inverted hand shoulder okay so where is this inverted hand shoulder you can see that we have this a uh, bit of a hand and shoulder here in the hand shoulder here all right so this is your head and that's your two shoulder here okay and then i map out that the resistance was around 255 because then that seems to be near to the top of the range of course you know if you observe that the ultimate resistance for this is about 300 plus around this region and if price is to close above it then it will break the top of the range so in terms of um, just looking at high to low perspective you know there is a uh, certain edge to consider entering near to the low of the range all right so let's check out what happened to this particular stocks all right so this is a uh, byd exactly as i map out the stocks um let me just re recap a bit right so this was that high in the range that's about 310 level so this was the 160 level plus around there and then uh, when i mentioned right price was somewhere around this place i was looking at 217 again so it retested in the 217 um then uh, moved to 255 all right close above it went back down to 255 that means that resistance has been broken become a support and went even higher towards the 310 region okay so um that's very nice execution we had all the levels all map out just by simple levels by asking ourselves uh, whether price is at the top of the range or near to the low of the range by asking ourselves that it has fallen then where is the current price that you're gonna buy all right um that is a very effective way to evaluate you know uh whether you should be considering these stocks and of course right um right now um you know price is near the top of the range all right then i'll be actually looking to take profit how about you mm -hmm.